Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Little Little D Moto Vlogs. My name is Brian. I'll be your host for this evening. Heading out to Hanging Rock today. So we got the video recorded yesterday for Monday. I know I talked about this before, but we lost a lot of footage. I don't know if it was the, uh, I got an external hard drive that I ordered online. And, uh, I transferred the footage directly from my camera to the external hard drive. And when I came back a couple hours later, I was like, well, of course it's finished. So I just unhooked my camera. So I believe I did it to myself. It's probably what happened, honestly. I'm new to the whole external hard drive thing, though, so. It's pretty windy out today. It's nice and warm, though. It's about 80 degrees, I believe. Just head out to Hanging Rock, check out the mountains, go to the lake out there, just have a little look around. It's a really nice ride out there. Got my sidekick with me as always. This house in the background. It's a good lady. Hell of a cook too, let me tell you. Very creative. She's just all around awesome. Her tattoos are cooler than mine too, which is some bullshit, but whatever. Girls tend to have better tattoos than guys, I've noticed. Ooh, that bottle of water behind me is cold on my back. Oh, yeah, it feels kind of nice, really. Heading up through Danbury, North Carolina today. Heading out to Hanging Rock. Haven't been there since last year sometime, so I hope I remember how to get there. If not, we got the trusty GPS for that. Everybody's out enjoying the day. Perfect time of year for it. Get to a motorcycle. Come on out and go ride. Drop your top on your convertible. Throw your windows down. Fuck. Just get out. Do something. Get off that fucking tablet. After you watch this video. I don't know if we're going to put this out Wednesday or Monday or what. Uh, next Monday, I mean, I got a feeling I'm going to put it out Wednesday since, it's, since the weather's getting nice. I want to start doing it uh, every Monday and Wednesday regularly. But I don't want to jinx myself because North Carolina's known to get cold after it's been warm. The weather's bipolar, as they say. This is the route I used to take to work every day. So, not to harp on a, something that's been talked about to a fucking death, but that's kind of the point I want to make. Why are we still talking about Will Smith and Jada Smith? Like, what? What the fuck is happening? Like, why are they still, oh, Jada talks about the slap. I keep getting notifications in my news feed. It's just Will Smith this, Jada Smith that. Who gives a shit? Why are we still talking about that? Let's move on, people. All right, we're gonna drive around Madison because damn all those stoplights. There's a stop sign here now. That what didn't used to be here. This is brand new. A little four-way stop in action. I got here first, so I guess I'm going. Okay. This road is so bumpy. I'm going to have to pull over here in a second to get the maps going, I believe. I didn't bring my charger though, so hopefully I won't waste too much of the battery on my phone. I can record the video as I need. <clears throat> I used to work out here for a company that delivered furniture all throughout this area. Repo furniture, picked up payments, all kinds of stuff. This is a fun job though. We're gonna head back through Madison just a bit here. The back side. Try not to get hit by a train. See what I mean? Take your top down. Get outside and enjoy the damn day. Some really nice bars over here. You wanna come out? West Murphy Street, Madison, North Carolina. Where the two best bars, three best bars are. I don't know what you call them. 
It's a cool little town though. I really like the way it's laid out. Not a lot of people know this, but Madison, North Carolina is actually where the Wright brothers built their plane in 1902, only to take it uh, by mule in 1903 to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. It took them the full year to get there, but they got there, got them uh, up in the air for 12 seconds, and the rest is history, you know? It's pretty amazing. The more you know. Can I do that in two videos in a row? I don't think I can. All right, we're heading into the outside of Madison here, heading towards Walnut Cove, another nice little town. I'm not sure what the speed limit is here, but I'm about to pull over and get my GPS going. Uh, I just gotta find a place to pull over. I guess I can do it there, but I don't want to. Go. Pull over here. Look at that baby. What are you doing, little baby? I hope I didn't just lose the first half of this video. Note to self get GPS going before you press record. Allison just slapped me there for coming out of that parking lot so wide. Fair enough. Those guys drove that lawnmower there. Zero turn. Something going on at 311. That's a cool little track right there, man. Uh, if you're into racing, there's a dirt track here in North Carolina called 311 Speedway. I'm not sure if they still have races there or not. I'm pretty sure they do. I wish I could get a better shot of it, but that place is awesome. Much better than, I think, much better than going to the Speedway in Martinsville or something like that. Or like Daytona or in Talladega, I don't know. But it's just more they're they're hungrier. You know what I mean? The same reason I like watching college basketball better. Because they want it. They're having a good time. Which in turn makes us have a good time watching. You know what I mean? Uh, makes it more entertaining. Same thing I like about music. If you ain't got heart in it, I don't want it. So I was thinking about getting like some kind of animation or some kind of video intro made. I'm not sure what I want to do though. I need to speak with Ronnie Gibbs. He's really good at what he does. He worked with uh, Will on his page. I'll also leave a link to Will's page on the description in the description. But he did a lot of stuff for uh, Will's page and Will's band that he's in called Black Tide Gallows. You can find them on anything, uh, Amazon Music, Spotify, whatever. Uh, I'll leave a link to their page as well. You can find them on YouTube. But they're pretty great. You got to check them out. What the hell was that? Uh, if you're into metal, that's the kind of band, though. And they're very skilled musicians I've known most of my life. Their bass player is dreamy. <laughs> I grew up most of my life wanting to be a successful musician. Playing in bands since I was 14 and only stopped really since the age of 35, maybe 38 now. I'm about to be 39 in May did it for a pretty good while, pretty good chunk of my life. Started playing when I was 12, got my first guitar my dad gave me. I wish I could say I still had it, but I fucking sold it like a dipshit. Oh well. Good God, this road is bumpy. Woo. Man, you can sure tell when you're around a bunch of fucking animal pastures, dude. I got nothing but bugs on my face screen. I can barely see through this. It's like a glittery haze is over my face shield. Just the accumulation of a bunch of bad decisions. Or a bunch of good ones in this case. Alright. I think we're getting ready to hang a right at the Danbury. And boy is my hand tired. There he is. I guess I need louder pipes. 
scooter there. I like that. So is that. I don't know. I think that was a Virago. I used to have a Virago. Uh, that was the first motorcycle I ever bought myself. Like, bought it for myself. Uh, paid $600 for it. It didn't run. I was like, I'm going to get this thing running. But I didn't. And I traded it to a guy for rent so I could keep living in his house for another six months or some shit. I don't know, it was cheap back then. Alright. I think it says 9.1 miles. Look at the view! Woo! Can't really see. That's nice. I think we just passed a place called Snake Ranch. Sounds kind of nasty. <laughs> that was a song reference, in case you were wondering. I don't dislike snakes. I fucking love snakes, actually. I know I might get shit about wearing a t-shirt while riding and Allison not having any sleeves on, but you should always wear protective gear when you go riding. This is a stupid decision, but it is my decision. And it's my channel, so haha. <laughs> That was a nice bike. What was that? Was that a Norton? Alright, we keep hanging it to the left. Dooby dooby doo. We're just going through this turn like a bunch of fucking bosses. Smooth water. Apparently there's some kind of fever going around or like allergy. I, I know it's just the pollen, but I think it's a little bit more than that. Uh, Allison just went to the doctor recently to get tested for COVID, obviously. And then, so it was some kind of, they just know oh, well, you just got a cold. But then my nephew's wife took their kid in and they were like, it's some kind of virus. She had pretty much the same thing that we do. So I'm thinking it's some kind of respiratory virus, but, I'm not in pain or anything. I don't feel like, I mean, I did a couple days ago. I felt pretty run down, honestly. But now I feel just stuffed up. I had a Sportster before this soft tail. And let me tell you something. You can, uh, you can lean a lot more on a Sportster. I got real used to that style of riding, I guess you could say. So now I drag pipes and foot boards and my little bell on the bottom I can hear it go ding, 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 every now and again. It's pretty funny. Poor little bell. She's barely hanging on. Look at this cotter. Fucking Family Dollar and Dollar Tree got together. You see that? Oh my god, it's a union. Synergy. Synergy. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting close. All these fucking kayaks. And adventure bikes. I want to fucking ride the adventure bike so bad. I just want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh yeah. This is nice out here. Got all the twisties that I can't lean into because I'm on a fucking couch. By the way, nobody says twisties. Stop doing that. Hey, there's a whole lot of motorcycles there. What up? Fucking <laughs> bad. Thought dude was gonna give me a low five, man. Uh, there's a part where you can go up to the lake. I'm just trying to remember where that is. We're getting close. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. It's a beautiful area out here, man. I fucking love it. I just like nature. I like green, man. I like going places with my baby. Enjoying myself. Getting out of nature, getting that fresh air in you. Getting that wind on you. Get that, get that wind on you. <laughs> you like getting that wind on you, baby? She likes getting that wind. Some goddamn motorcycles over yonder. Bunch of hoodlums. 
We got a half tank. We ain't stopping for shit. Scrape, scrape. Oh, this is a nice ride out here, man, for real. Cancer. this super nice this is a great idea baby great idea this is a good idea I'm working on our hand signals slowly but surely we're gonna have something figured out for too long man my arms getting tired from waving all these damn motorcycles Andy Nicholson he looks like a trustworthy guy Ugh. getting hugged my baby loves me Wait, was that it? No, that's not it. We're getting there. Getting to the lake. We're gonna stop by the lake. Then I'm gonna find a place to show you a pretty good view of the mountain and every everything. Uh, there's a hiking trail that goes up there, but guess what we're not doing today? Because I can't breathe properly. We're not going hiking. But we are going riding if I got. I don't know if you can ride up there or not. I don't think so. Here we go. That was an interesting looking thing. What was that? Man, I love it. It's giving me a fucking... A little bit of faith in humanity again to see all these people out enjoying the day. Wait, is that the lake back there? That's where I was trying to go. Turkey! Turkey! Josh, you see that damn turkey? I'm trying to remember the last time I came up here to the lake, what it was like. I'm trying to find it again. I don't recognize. Woo! Look at that view. Uh, Piedmont Springs, no. Oh, there we go. That was a good shot. Rock State Park, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this looks right. I believe the lake's up here to the left. Alcoholic beverage is prohibited. I happen to be a prohibit. It's like we followed a group up here on accident. Oh, this place is awesome. So who was it that came up with the state parks? Was it Roosevelt? a fine idea. Where is the damn swimming and boating? Here we go. There it is. I knew we could find it. Alright. We are here. And so is everybody else. Good lord. Last time I came here, there was no one here. Now everybody's here. That's kind of crazy. Alright, we'll be right back.
see how this goes. I think I'm going out the end. So that was Hanging Rock Lake. I saw a sign in there that said, the making of a recreational lake. And all I could help to think was like, that you can't swim in. There's so many no swimming signs everywhere. Kind of pisses me off a little bit, to be honest with you. But whatever. Still nice to walk around and enjoy the day out in nature. So I guess now we're just gonna head back to uh, a little town down the road, get a beer. It's a nice little Mexican restaurant I wanna go check out in, uh, I cannot remember the name of that town to save my life anytime I try to remember it. That was badass. A little Trump. I've always had a problem remembering the name of that town. Even when I worked out here. So it's not an age thing. <sighs> oh, that might be though. So have you started watching the show The Outer Range on Amazon Prime yet? If not, I highly recommend it. I'm a huge fan of Josh Brolin either way, but it's a great show. You ought to check it out. We're in like three episodes, four episodes, and I'm already loving it. I think it might be three. But uh, definitely check that out on Amazon. Are you going to turn? What are you doing? Walnut fucking code. That's the name of the place I've been trying to remember the name of. I can never remember the name of it to save my life. I don't know why. This place ought to be full of fucking money. Let me tell you, walnut trees bring some money at the sawmill. In case you were wondering. Oh, I got a bug in the eye. If I didn't have the shield on, that would have hit me. All right, we made it home. Thanks for watching. That's all she wrote. Till next time, see ya. Got the road.